Hello and welcome students managing Office 365 multi-factor authentication on your practice lab server and here in this video we're going to explore this multi-factor feature in Office 365 environment and you're going to experience a different sort of steps and different sort of ways to enable this multi-factor authentication and this is a part one as we say because this this topic contain few more videos to cover in a whole way so this video is going to be the part one and after that video we're going to post another video that contain the full version of this multi-factor authentication so let me show you the document that you're going to have when you start this lab and this document contain all the steps in the screenshot as you know and we did the same with the other previous projects we had and here you will see each steps and in addition in this document specifically or there are maybe some document that are coming if they are related with the mobile application you know with the authenticator or any other office 65 application so you will find that we attach the mobile screen screenshots so here you will have a good idea a better idea than how things work on your mobile phone when you are doing this project so all these screenshots are to the latest version of the app so you will not be confused when you are logging or accessing that application so this is all about your document your project manual and let's move to the practice labs platform and let's begin with the portal with the office 65 portal because as you can see here we included all the steps to log on to the portal.office.com so we're going to start from this screen so let's move and all the time when you try to log in with your trial account you always see this notification that tells you that the enable security defaults require secure account login and you all the time skip this part but here in this video we're going to resolve this issue fully and show you how to enable this security defaults in the account to make it secure and all the logins become secure so let's right now let's skip this and then we're going to show you how to add this security feature in the login or logout process and that's make even it more secure and it won't st stop you at this moment while you are logging because when you able to allow when you're able to have this multi-factor authentication so your account becomes secure so right now we're going to yes we want to stay sign in so let's click yes and here you can see that it is greeting us a good afternoon this is the midday timing at this location right now so let's click to the app launcher and go to the admin you know and here on the admin portal again it asks you to secure your accounts so once it navigates you here to the admin center of office 65 let's hold your mouse on navigation menu and here let's expand the user and click to the active users so here we have all the lists so right now for this video I'm going to add a simple user that is not included in the manual in the document you already knew but you can apply these settings this whole project on your previous user as well or you can create the new user so right now I'm going to create another user for that specific task now there you go the user is created and it's TSST4 and what we are going to do here in this video let's click to this navigation menu and click to show all and here let's click to the settings and then we're going to click to the org setting the organizational settings and here you have a bunch of features and bunch of services that you can add within your domain so right now let's scroll down and find out what the multi-factor authentication so if you're having trouble in scrolling down and, and searching you can type here the multi-factor and it will pop up it will 
show on the recommended, the best suggested, then you can click to go on. Then once you click to the multi-factor authentication, you will see this fly out. So let's click to configure multi-factor authentication. And then again, it required some security login. And all the time, once when, when you totally add this multi-factor authentication, so it won't stop you, it won't ask you on such steps. Maybe it will ask for the approval from your mobile device, but it will not require these things. Now here, this is the new account that we just created. And here you can see the multi-factor authentication status is disabled. So let's click to that account. And here, let's click to enable. And when you enable the multi-factor authentication, you will see this successful message that tells us that thing is enabled, but haven't been enforced or it's not working. Then you should switch to the service settings. And this is quite interesting because here in this pod, under this methods available to the user, if you left the check on this text message to the phone or text or verification code from mobile app or hardware token. So what's going to happen that you must provide your mobile phone number on this multi-factor authentication feature and then you will get some SMS and it will provide you some OTP one-time password and you have to pro you have to type that password here in the Microsoft Office 65 login then it will record that number to your account and in this way your mobile device is registered to the account well if you leave the check here on notification through mobile app so what's gonna happen that whenever you try to log in to your Office 65 account you will have a notification a kind of permission and you have to approve if you want to log in to your account so so this adds the security layer in your login process because every time if there is an attempt of login to the office 65 domain you you will always have some permission some alert some notification or your mobile phone where you have the app the Microsoft authenticator app so in this way you can better keep an eye and monitoring on the login and all the process and that's add a two factor authentication so right now for this specific video we're going to go with this notification through a mobile app and here you can also define the days for the trusted devices so if you make it 10 days so that for the 10 days you will have the notification on your phone and after 10 days your phone becomes untrusted so it's up to you you can change these days so right now we're, we're going to click save well when it save then we'll proceed to the, the, the task the specific project that we're going to cover here in this video so let's click to the save and well, it's taking time right okay so the update successful and let's close it now here at this point, you have successfully added this multi-factor authentication to your specific account. And now we're going to do what we, we need to register our device. And here at this part, we're going to need a mobile phone. And we are going to show you that part also on the mobile screen and how it's look like. So before moving to the mobile screen, we're going to log in with the new account. And you can do what you can simply sign out from this login and simply log in with the new account. But here I'm going to do what I'm going to open a private browser window here. And I will use that window to log into the new account. So here we need to type again the portal.office.com. And here I'm going to use my new account. And this account would be what? that specific account where you enable this multi-factor authentication so let me type the credentials and get login now the difference you're going to find while login to that specific account is that here you will no, no longer have the skip option so what you have is to just go with this secure account login so let's click next and wait for the next screen and in a while it will navigate you to the whole app downloading and the QR code is scanning so here 
it says what you're on your phone install the Microsoft Authenticator app and you can download here as well so let's download this Microsoft Authenticator app in the phone Play Store we're going to type the Microsoft Authenticator and it will suggest us the best option so as it shows the Microsoft Authenticator so let's install this app into the phone it is about to install and there you go now after installing click next and here it says set up your account so click next and here at this moment we're going to scan the QR code so here we're going to scan this QR code and after that it will take a while to register your account on the mobile app and so this is the account that we want to add now as you have seen the account is added on the app so let's click next and here it will sync to the mobile app and take a while and now when you approve from there what happens that this notification is approved and let's click next and there you go you have this notification then click to done so what's gonna happen whenever you log into your office 65 account where the multi-factor authentication is enabled what's gonna happen you will have a notification on your phone and when you approve from your phone so it allows to log into your office tc5 account that's all about this multi-factor authentication so here you can see that we are successfully logged into our office tc5 account